We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 6, Converting Tabular Information. So this exercise is going to um, practice taking text that's already in a document and converting that into a table, and then doing the opposite, taking uh, a table and converting it into text. So we have our income statement document open. So this is for ABC Insurance Services, and it's showing us our revenue and our expenses and then our net income at the bottom. And I wanna actually take all this information and put it into a table. The first thing I need to do is select the text. So you can either click and drag all the way down or just simply press and hold the control key and tap the letter A to select all of the text. We're gonna go up to our insert tab. And in the tables group, I'm gonna click on the table icon. Down towards the bottom, we have some options down here. I wanna find convert text to table. When I click on it, it's gonna open up a dialog box for me and it's gonna ask me uh, to d specify what settings I want. So here where it says table size, the default says number of columns one, number of rows 19. I wanna change this so I have three rows. So I'm gonna just click on the increment up button so that now I have three columns, and you'll see that the number of rows has automatically changed to seven. Down here towards the bottom, it's asking me how I wanna separate my text. Do I wanna separate it at paragraphs, at commas, at tabs, or at other? I wanna select tabs. So it's um, anywhere in my document that the tab key has been hit, that's where it's gonna separate my text. And when I select that, you're going to notice that the number of rows has now changed to 19. And if you want, you can play around with these settings to see what it would look like, because um, it can be a little confusing to understand how uh, the text gets converted. So play around with that and see what happens. For the exercise, though, we're just going to select tabs. I'm going to click OK. And now I have a three column table with all of my information in it. And there's an example in your instruction panel. If you wanna open it up, this is what it should look like. That's what it looks like, so we're doing good. All right, now uh, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go up to my Table Tools Design tab. And I'm gonna remove the borders from this table. So in my borders group, I'm going to find the borders icon and I'm going to select the drop down. Oh, now you're seeing that's all grayed out. So I might have to actually select my whole table first. So click on that table selector. Let's go back to borders. Now it's giving me the options I need. I want to select no border. So that's removing um, any actual border off of my table. What you might see is that you have these little grid lines in the background. They're dashed light gray lines. Those won't print. They're just there to help uh, guide you. If you don't see them, if you go up to the layout tab and over in the table group, you want to click on view grid lines. So if I can turn that off. And you can see I still get my cursor if I hover, but having those grid lines on is going to make it a lot easier. So go ahead and click on view grid lines. Make sure those are showing. Okay, so we're gonna select the ABC Insurance Services row to merge these cells together. Cause it looks a little weird when it's over here just in this one cell. I'm gonna hover over to the left and just click in my document and it's gonna select this whole line for me. I wanna be on my Table Tools Layout tab. In the Merge group, I'm gonna click on Merge Cells and that will merge those three together. So now I have just one cell with the ABC Insurance Services info in it. I wanna do the same thing to the next line, so I'm gonna to click to select the three cells in that next row, Layout tab, Merge Group, click on Merge Cells, and I've merged that one together too, so now those three have become one. Now, last thing I want to do in merging cells, I want to merge the top two rows together. So I'm going to put my cursor over to the left here. I'm going to click and hold and drag down to select those top two rows. And again, layout tab, merge group, click merge cells. It's going to merge those two together for me. All right. 
Now in our instruction panel, it wants us to continue formatting the table to appear similar to the sample. So if I click on that image, it's gonna open it up for me. And I'm just gonna take this row by row. And it can be a little tricky to see um, both the sample and you, what you're doing in your document, but move yours around to however it makes sense for you to see both, or you can go back and forth between the two. So the first thing that I noticed, my very first row, is that my text is centered. So I'm gonna click into this top cell, or this top row, and I actually, I have to select the text for both. If I just put my cursor in one, and I do Control E, it's only gonna move that one line. So I either need to select the whole row or select the text that's in there. I'm gonna press and hold Control and tap E as an elephant to center that text, or you can go to the Home tab and use that center line icon. Okay, our next row looks like it's just the three cells. I don't have to do any changes. Revenues, I don't need to change anything there. When it comes to sales and other revenues, you're gonna notice that the column borders have been moved where it says sales and other revenues. So we've moved sales and other revenues way over here to the left, and then we've moved our numbers way over here to the right. Now to do this, move this over, um, because I'm changing this border and this border, and both of those borders belong to these two cells, I can actually click and drag over those two cells to select them, and then I'll be able to change uh, both sets of borders. So I'm gonna start with the one on the left here. Make sure you're getting the cursor with the two lines up and down, and then an arrow pointing left or right that tells you you can move it. I'm gonna click and hold it, and I'm gonna drag over to the left. I'm gonna get my line uh, kind of between the E and the V here in revenues, but it's not, you don't have to be super precise on this one. And what you're gonna notice is that only the border of the cells I had selected has moved. So now I'm gonna do the one on the right. Click and hold, drag it over. If I keep dragging, watch what happens to my table. Oh, it's not gonna do it this time. So sometimes if you keep uh, dragging, it might adjust your whole table. If it doesn't, you can just drag it as far as it will go and let go. If it does start to um, make your whole table kind of go wonky, oh, there it goes now, like that. You just wanna move it over until, until right before it starts to move those things. Again, it's not real particular. Um, it's just, we wanna get it to look pretty close. Okay. For total revenues, what I'm gonna notice is that uh, total revenues is in the same spot, but my center cell is empty and I have moved my number over to the cell on the right and aligned it with the text that's above. All right, so right now my total revenues number is in this center cell. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna use the, um, cop the cut function. So press and hold control and tap the letter X. I'm gonna click into my cell over here on the right. I'm gonna press and hold control and tap the letter V to paste that in there. Now, because this text is aligned over here to the left, I need to change that so it matches up with these numbers. So I can either do that on the home tab in the paragraph group by clicking on align right, or I can press control R. And you might notice that your numbers don't quite align up exactly. That's okay, don't worry about it too much. You can do uh, get it as close as you can. Okay, so the next line, I leave blank. The expenses line um, is gonna stay the same. Down below expenses, all of those categories, I'm gonna make the same as the categories under revenue. So I'm gonna adjust them just like I did there. So I'm gonna click and drag from rent all the way down to photocopier. So I'm selecting all of the categories under expenses. I'm first gonna hover over the border on the left, click and drag. And because I have this nice guideline that goes all the way up and down my document, I can just align it up with the line right here and let it go. So those are all nicely aligned together. Same goes on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna click and drag 
until it aligns with the lines up here, then I can let go. It can sometimes be a little finicky to get it in exactly the right spot. Uh, don't stress about it if you can't get it exact, just get it close. All right, on our sample for total expenses and net income, looks like we're taking both of those numbers out of the center column and moving them over to the right and aligning them with the numbers above. So because these, um, these two are fairly consecutive, even though there's a line between them, I can actually just do that, do the same thing at the same time. I'm gonna select those cells. I'm gonna press and hold control and tap the X key to cut that info. I'm gonna click here into this cell over here to the right, press control V, and that's gonna paste that text in for me. I can make sure they're all selected again press and hold control and tap the R key to align this to the right. Or again, you can do that up on the home tab in the paragraph group. All right, looks like we've got it all formatted the, correctly. So I can close out of this image and that's all we need to do for step one. So let's mark that as answered and go to step two. For step two, we're actually gonna change some properties of our table. So first of all, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. When we look at this table, um, it's pretty much, it looks like it's centered on our page, but if I were to resize this, you're gonna see that it's actually aligned over here on the left. So I can undo that. Um, we're gonna make a couple of changes to this table and we're gonna center it and resize it using the property table properties. So we're gonna go up to the uh, table tools layout tab. We're gonna go over to the table group and click on properties. And this is gonna open up a dialog box for us. It's gonna start us out on the table tab and you're gonna see we have size, alignment and text wrapping. We're gonna keep text wrapping as it is. In alignment, we're gonna change this to center and then up on the size, we're gonna check the preferred width box. And then we wanna change our preferred width to five inches. So we're saying, I want this table to be five inches wide. So I can type in 5.0, or you can use the increment buttons, whatever is easiest for you. And you'll see that this says inches. So it's gonna be a five inch wide table. Before I close out, I wanna go over to my alt text tab and give some information in here. So in case anybody who's using um, some accessibility features, if it's reading to them, we want it to be able to read what this table is. So in the title, we're gonna type income statement and in the description, ABC insurance report. When I have that in there, I can go ahead and click okay. And now you're gonna see that your table should be centered in the middle of the document and should be five inches wide. I wanna go up to my uh, table tools layout tab and I wanna turn my grid lines off. That way I can't see them anymore. And this gives me an idea of what it will look like when it's printed as well. So let's mark that as answered and let's go to step three. For step three, we're gonna open up the TA status update document. So down in the bottom of your instruction panel, just double click that to open it. And we're gonna take some information that's already in a table and convert it to text. So what you're looking at is uh, meeting minutes. So whenever there's like a professional meeting, they take minutes, that means it's like an official document where they uh, track what's said, who was there, and any other important information. So there's a written record. Now it might not look like it's in a table, but you can tell up here, you'll see your table selector tab. And if you click on it, it's gonna show you, oh, it is in fact a table. And if you went and turned those grid lines on, you'll be able to see how it's set up as a table. Uh, we don't need to turn those grid lines on. It's just helpful for you if you want to have them on. What we do want to do is we wanna select the entire table. So I'm gonna click on my table selector button. I'm gonna go up to the table tools layout tab and click on the data group and then select the convert to text option. 
So this is going to give me uh, a slightly smaller dialog box than if we were um, converting text to a table. So to convert our table to text, it asks how we want to separate our text. All right, we're going to select tabs. And again, this is one of those things you could play around with to see what it looks like and how it changes it. But for the exercise, we're just going to click on tabs and click OK. And now you're going to see what this document would look like if I remove that table. And it's not nearly as pretty as it was before. So it's a little harder to read. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to press and hold control and tap the Z. And if it doesn't work for you immediately, make sure you click back into your Word document. So those keyboard shortcuts will work. And that's all we need to do for this step. So, and for the whole exercise. So go ahead and submit.